Hello, this is Travis Sabin with Adobe Analytics Product Management, and today we're going to be walking through doing analysis with a pre-built report. So in our new experience, we have our reports section. Again, this is a combination of most of the reports in analytics reports. Not all of them are here. We've removed some, as well as the templates that used to exist in the pop-up modal uh, from Analysis Workspace. All of that has been recategorized and classified here under our new reports menu structure. We've tried to build this in a way that makes the most sense and put them in the right categories that will make it easier to find them um, so you can get to the insights that you're looking for a little bit faster. So most of our reports fall into three or four types, really. There are ranked reports, and there are overtime reports, and then there are custom ones that we have built and then there are the templates that we've kind of brought over um, from Analysis Workspace and put them in here. So first, let's go through uh, our ranked report. So a ranked report is, for example, is like a pages report. It ranks the top page dimension items in a bar chart typically and lets you see which one is performing best and all the way through. So using these reports, you can really see, uh, again, these are typically dimensions or dimension items uh, ranked in a bar or a line. Uh, horizontal bar over time and uh, to see on a given, in this case, a given month, over that month period of time, who had the most whatever metric, in this case, occurrences. So using this report, you can come in and see which dimension items are performing best. You can see a summary number of overall how many occurrences are happening on the overall dimension itself, but this allows you to get a quick view of what is performing best. So any dimension-based report is typically a ranked report. If you're in here and you're wanting to learn more about Analysis Workspace, you can click on this video. It'll take you to our Workspace uh, YouTube channel with a video to walk you through an overview of Analysis Workspace. So if you're newer to Workspace and want to learn more, this video is a great way to do that. So we put that right here in the product to make it easier. If you want to do some customization to what has been provided here, normally this left rail over here is collapsed by default, but you can click on this to expand it. And so if you want to change out any of these dimensions, if you want to break down any dimension, if I want to know, you know which country, if I want to know which region, I drag and drop that on, and now it gives me which regions are driving the most traffic to my home page. So if you want to do those customizations, you just pop this menu open and you can do it. If you want to swap out your metrics, if you don't want occurrences, but you want visits, you just replace it and it will reload now with a visits based count of uh, your page visits. So if you want to do more with, than just the pre-built stuff and you want to do customizations, that is all available to you. There's no restrictions on that. After you have finished, if you're done, you can just click the back button and go back. Because I've made changes, it will ask me if I want to save it. If you don't have, if you don't want to save it for future analysis, that's fine. If you do end up saving it, it will, you'll give it a name and it will now show up on your projects list here. It will not be under reports. If you came back to reports and open pages again, it would be the default pages pre-built report. So Anytime you're accessing it from the reports tab, these are all pre-built and they will not save with any customizations. Anytime you do a customization, it'll show up here on your projects list. So that is a ranked report. Overtime is another type of report. So this is typically where you're looking at a metric over time. In this case, we have a line chart comparing in this period of granularity days for the given month with visits and then comparing it to a month ago and a year ago, roughly. So I can see how my visits are performing over time. So we're tracking, again, this period of time versus a month ago's period of time and roughly a year ago period of time. So the overtime reports are uh, metric-based in most cases. And again, we've got a line chart, some summary numbers. We've got some drop-downs here. So if you want to see weekend or weekday data, you can filter that using the drop-downs. It will automatically uh, make it so we're just seeing, in this case, the weekday data. So those are our overtime reports. And again, if I want to make customizations, I can open this up and go to town and then save it with a new name and it'll show up on my projects list. Uh, next, we have some custom reports. So these are some that don't quite fall into ranked or trended uh, or overtime, excuse me, but um, we have a handful of these. So one example is, let's see, in our geo segmentation one, if I open this up, this it doesn't have ranked or trended, but it's got a map viz by default to show me, in this case, U.S. states. 
and it's got a summary number. It does have a ranked report to show which states in this case are performing better, and then a table here below. So this one comes with a map pre-built, and we have a handful of other custom reports um, that have blend a couple of things together. But again, we're just trying to find some good out of the box data so you can take know where to dig, how to look. If you wanna drill in deeper, we've got these things built out the gate for you. So that is one of our example of our custom reports. There are a few others as well. And then lastly, we have our mobile or our templates that uh, used to be available in the modal. One example here is within mobile, we have a bunch of mobile app templates that used to ex uh, exist in the pop-up modal. These are still the same. We've just now re reorganized them within the reports menu structure. And these ones have some very sophisticated templates custom built for specific use cases, mobile, web, retail, uh, Magento, there's a handful of others. Uh, and they all have very specific uh, reports here with custom uh, visualizations, tables, metrics, and dimensions to help you get the most out of whatever given topic it is that you're looking for. So all of those templates uh, exist. They're just now available within that report structure. So that is reports. Lots of different pre-canned offerings available to you. Again, these are all our modern workspace reports now. Uh, there are no more RNA reports as we used to know them by. So hopefully these can help you find even more insights, get acclimated to workspace, and be successful in using Adobe Analytics. Thank you.